it's 3 a.m. If Pinocchio breaks his nose, will his lie become a reality? Or instead of breaking his nose, we somehow made his lie a reality, will his nose shrink back to normal? Or instead, if we merge a longer nose to his face, will his reality turn into a lie? I mean, it's possible, right? He's magical, assuming that he is a he. A fairy out of nowhere put a life on him, a wooden puppet, a powerful magic I'd say, manipulating life and death. It's not a surprise if it is capable of like alteration to physical matter. The fairy itself is quite sketchy. She came out of nowhere performing a high level magic to please a random wood carver. And why the hell she made Pinocchio's nose gross if he lies? It's a metaphor used to teach kids some moral values. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know that. Shh. A fairy with that kind of ability, if she is indeed good, then she could help people on a much larger scale. Why bother with a poor wood carver? Oh, he's a kind person. He's worthy. Alright, he must be not the only kind person in there, right? The fairy invests too much time with Gepetto. I imagine it as a seed. The fairy is growing something else in the form of Pinocchio. Later, she turned him into a real boy. We don't know what happened later. She probably going to harvest Pinocchio when he grows into an adult. But what is it? A wood of fine quality inspected by an experienced wood carver turned into a wooden boy, taught him to be good, don't make lies, turn him into a real human boy later. So when he grows up, we get a good honest man? Uh, Alright, let's imagine if we break his nose, the lie will indeed become reality. A reality bending device. Let's say the fairy is not strong enough to alter reality. But if she invests her magic on a little boy, which later grows into an adult, stronger man, the magic must has become stronger. She taught him to behave so he won't accidentally activate the power. She met Gepetto taking care of Pinocchio by taking advantage of his dream to have a son. Free real estate. It's not really an evil move, it's a win-win to both sides. Gepetto might have already been dead by the time Pinocchio becomes an adult. When Pinocchio becomes an adult, the magic ability within him will also grow or at least be good enough to bend reality. The fairy can finally use him at that time according to her will. But what if Pinocchio doesn't do as she please? That's why she made him out of a puppet, a literal puppet, a little bit of spell and blueberry pies. To make Pinocchio's puppet nature kicks in and voila, an ultimate reality altering device. Amazing. Don't get me to talk about the Pinocchio paradox yet. Anyway, according to a study by Granada University in 2012, when a person lies, he or she experiences a reverse Pinocchio effect, which is an increase in the temperature. Uh, let me get my glasses which is an increase in the temperature around the nose and in the orbital muscle in the inner corner of the eye in addition when we perform a considerable mental effort our face temperature drops and when we have, have an anxiety attack our face temperature rises according to a pioneer study that has introduced new application of thermography. So basically when you tell a lie your nose actually shrinks. Uncanny. This might be a clue to his magical ability that alter reality. Pinocchio was a good kid, you know. He may be a little bit nasty, but his lie is based on good intention too. Anyway, the first time he ever be honest, he gets cheated by some shady people, which the fairy completely ignored. Bitch. I would lie too if I was Pinocchio. He has been used by people around him for his whole life, by the fairy, by the shady people who cheats him, he even already used as an entertainment tool when he was only a puppet. Not to mention by Gepetto, he only cares for him because his pathetic self being lonely for long. He wants a kid and finally got his own puppet boy which he used to ease up his depressing mental state out. I think I trapped myself.
Do you think Pinocchio can sleep sometimes without thinking about it? Well, he was depicted as a naughty brat or as a happy cheerful boy by Disney. But as he matures, when he starts to think more sensitively, do he get acute insomnia sometimes? I mean, he might often get existential crisis. He is different from the people around him. He literally born from a fairy's magic spell on a wooden puppet. He must be feeling solitary at some point. Does a puppet need sleep anyway? Well, we sleep because we are tired of continually converting food to energy which we use to stay alive and move around and break dance and talking and breathing and breathing and judging, playing games, pinching, writing, flirting, seeing, visiting, just to stay alive is hell a lot of work and since the puppet boy becomes a boy who also do those kinds of stuff. So yeah, I think he needs, he needs sleep too, just like you, you need sleep. Put your phone down now and go to bed. Oh, you're already in bed, but you still play it with your phone in the dark. You're ruining your eyes, body, even brain. You will feel more depressed each day, getting more cranky. Everyone will hate you, and you will hate yourself too. Eventually, you will kill yourself if you are not killing others. Hit the subscribe button or go to sleep. It's already 3 a.m. Do you even already done your homework?